Hi, Bobby. Where are we right now? We're in, um, I think this is the, the Eugene O'Neill Theater, um, where, the, where Book of Mormon plays. The Book of Mormon has been on Broadway for over 12 years. Knowing what you know now, what advice would you give yourself 12 years ago when the show opened? If I were to be able to tell myself anything uh, when right before the show opened, I think it would be to kind of just sit back and enjoy the ride because I remember very, very vividly being nervous and not enjoying the ride. What made you fall in love with musical theater? When I was a kid, I grew up in New York City and loving music, playing the piano, and uh, I got to be in West Side Story when I was in fifth grade, which is a little young, um, but, but just getting to like, that was it. You've been quoted saying that Trey Parker and Matt Stone helped inspire you when writing Avenue Q. What was it like making Book of Mormon with them? Making Book of Mormon was basically hanging out with Matt and Trey. That's really what it was, and it was the most fun I've ever had. Those guys, just imagine hanging out with them. It's like that. What's your favorite song you've ever written? Favorite song I've ever written? Uh, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of people, a lot, but the, sort of the favorite songs that you have are the ones that people never get to hear because um, they're still yours. It's, it's a nice thing. You and your wife have collaborated on many successful projects together. What is it like working together? It's fun. We, uh, Kristen is my very f favorite person in the world, and it's like getting to be on a play date with your best friend every day. It's, it's a lot of fun. When you begin writing a new song, what do you start with first, music or lyrics? I uh, always start with the story and the idea, and making sure that idea is fresh and surprising. Um, if you don't have that, then it doesn't matter what you write. What about the story of Joseph Smith was most intriguing to you? You know, the more I found out about him, the more I was really interested, and I still, I would like to learn more about him because I can't imagine how his life happened. You're the youngest and quickest EGOT winner and the only person who have won a double EGOT. Where do you keep all the awards? Um, we have a, a sort of case in our office and we, we, we sort of shove them all in there just to, just to have them out of the way. What's your favorite lyric in the Book of Mormon? Um, you know, there used to be a lyric in there. It's not in there anymore, but it, there was a whole thing about the Matrix. Um, the, the third Matrix movie being the worst of the, of the three, and uh, I, <laughs> that's my favorite line. You've lived in New York your whole life. What is one quintessential New York thing everyone has to do once? Everybody's got to go to Roosevelt Island. It's just a weird place. What is your favorite pizza in New York? Favorite pizza is Numero 28. Be honest, have you ever performed one of your own songs at karaoke? I've never performed a song at karaoke, but I got to play the piano at uh, at a, one of these piano bars, Marie's Crisis, they don't let you play. Um, but they were like, well, we're about to do Let It Go and Bobby's here, so Bobby, will you play it? What is your favorite thing to nerd out over? Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, and as you can see, Matt and Trey and I all are. It, it all worked its way into the Book of Mormon. And Darth Vader's in it, Yoda. <laughs> what songs are on your guilty pleasure playlist? Uh, I guess um, I really like Barry Manilow. Okay, lightning round. As fast as you can. Ready, set, group sing-along or solo act? Group sing-along. Dogs or cats? Cats. Puppets or animated characters? Puppets. Puns or innuendos? Puns. Thank you so much, Bobby. That was great. <laughs> Thanks.